Imagine a time when early humans contended not only with formidable predators and harsh climates, but also faced a volcanic catastrophe so immense it nearly led to our extinction. Approximately 74,000 years ago, the Toba supervolcano erupted with unparalleled force, initiating a volcanic winter that obscured the sun, devastated ecosystems, and brought Homo sapiens to the edge of annihilation. Let's set the scene. Earth was entrenched in the Pleistocene epoch, an ice age where colossal glaciers enveloped vast regions of North America, Europe, and Asia. These ice sheets extended southward to areas corresponding to present-day New York, northern Germany, and Beijing, reshaping terrains and displacing ecosystems. In contrast, Africa remained largely unglaciated, serving as a sanctuary for early humans during these frigid times. Homo sapiens, then about 200,000 years into existence, shared the planet with Neanderthals in Europe, Denisovans in Asia, and a variety of megafauna, including woolly mammoths and saber-toothed cats. Life was already a formidable challenge. Early humans subsisted as hunter-gatherers, utilizing stone tools, mastering fire, and relying heavily on social structures for survival. Global human populations were modest, estimated between 100,000 and 300,000 individuals. Then, an unprecedented disaster unfolded. The Toba eruption, classified as a VEI-8 event, the zenith of the Volcanic Explosivity Index, was no ordinary volcanic event. It expelled approximately 2,800 cubic kilometers, 670 cubic miles, of volcanic material, sufficient to blanket the entire state of California under a 15-meter, 50-foot layer of ash. The eruption's energy was equivalent to 33,000 megatons of TNT, surpassing the Hiroshima atomic bomb by over 2.2 million times. For perspective, the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora, the largest in recorded history, released about 160 cubic kilometers, 60 cubic miles, of material, with an estimated energy of 400 megatons of TNT. Tambora's eruption led to the year without a summer and widespread famine, yet it was over 80 times less powerful than Toba, underscoring the latter's colossal magnitude. While lava flows obliterated everything in proximity, the true devastation stemmed from pyroclastic flows, scorching avalanches of gas and volcanic debris, exceeding temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius, 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, and racing across landscapes at speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour, 124 miles per hour. Ash deposits from this cataclysm have been discovered as far afield as Greenland. The ensuing volcanic winter precipitated a global temperature decline of up to 10 degrees Celsius, 18 degrees Fahrenheit, leading to massive crop failures, ecosystem disintegration, and extensive species extinctions. For Homo sapiens, this translated into severe food scarcities and dramatic population reductions. Genetic studies suggest that the human population dwindled to a mere 1,000 to 10,000 individuals worldwide, resulting in a genetic bottleneck evident in our DNA today. How did any humans endure this catastrophe? Coastal communities along Africa's southern and eastern shores turned to marine resources, such as shellfish, which remained plentiful despite the harsh conditions. Inland groups found sustenance from freshwater lakes within the Great Rift Valley. Caves provided refuge from the relentless ash and cold, while the controlled use of fire became indispensable for cooking, warmth, and defense. Archaeological discoveries at sites like Pinnacle Point and Blombos Cave in South Africa 
indicate that early humans not only survived, but also innovated during this period. They developed advanced tools, harnessed fire effectively, and even engaged in symbolic art. Genetic analyses trace much of modern humanity's lineage back to these small, resilient groups. Recent research from the CNRS has unveiled that Toba's activity was not a singular event, but comprised multiple eruptive phases spanning thousands of years. By examining sediment cores from the Andaman Sea, scientists identified 17 distinct eruptions between 103,000 and 48,000 years ago, with seven predating the well-known Young Toba Tuff event. This prolonged volcanic activity likely played a role in Earth's shift into a glacial period, further challenging early human populations and necessitating adaptation. The genetic bottleneck caused by the Toba eruption had profound implications for human evolution. With a dramatically reduced gene pool, our species experienced what geneticists refer to as a founder effect a scenario where a small population gives rise to all future generations, carrying only a limited genetic variation. This can lead to increased susceptibility to certain diseases and a loss of genetic diversity that persists even today. Studies of modern human DNA reveal evidence of this bottleneck, as genetic variation in Homo sapiens is strikingly lower than in many other species. The effects of this near-extinction event likely influenced everything from immune system function to adaptations that allowed for survival in diverse environments. Some researchers speculate that the genetic homogeneity resulting from this bottleneck contributed to cognitive advancements, fostering a more cooperative and innovative human society, which may have given Homo sapiens an evolutionary advantage over other hominins. Despite the challenges posed by this bottleneck, the survivors of the Toba catastrophe were resilient. Over tens of thousands of years, human populations rebounded and expanded, gradually restoring some level of genetic diversity through migration and interbreeding with other hominin species, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans. This exchange of genes introduced beneficial adaptations that further shaped the evolutionary path of Homo sapiens. In essence, the Toba eruption did not just threaten humanity's survival, it played a crucial role in defining who we are today. If you enjoyed diving into the mysteries of lost species, don't forget to subscribe to Endling Echoes for more deep dives into the stories of creatures that once roamed the Earth. And if you want to keep exploring the incredible rise and fall of prehistoric giants, click on the video on your screen right now. It's another fascinating look at extinction and survival.